Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Deep Code question 208 that says implement try a prefix tree. So this is very fundamental question of a try data structure. So if you don't know try data structure then make sure you watch the video till the end so that you get complete understanding of what is try data structure, where is where it is used in real life, how this data structure store uh, strings or words and how uh, it is helpful in reducing the time complexity. So yeah, make sure you watch the video till the end and like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. So yeah, let's begin. A try uh, is pronounced a try and it is a prefix tree uh, where data is stored efficiently in the form of keys in a data set of string. So there are various applications of this data structure such as autocomplete and spell checker. So here in order to implement try, we have to implement some of the functions. See, this is the try constructor that is initialize the try object. Then we have to any uh, write the code for this insert function that we will that will insert a new word in a try data structure. Then there is a one search function that will help to search the word in the try data structure. And the last one is boolean boolean start with that will check if the prefix is present in a uh, or the, if the prefix is present uh, in somewhere or somewhere in the try or not. Okay. So these are the few functions that we have to complete in order to implement this try structure. Okay. Now, first of all, I will I would like to give you some introduction ideas of what is try. So this try data structure is used to store words or string uh, type of data structure. So it will store different strings this try data structure. So the main benefit of using try data structure is you will reduce the time complexity of this function start with function. So the start with function will return uh, true if there is a prefix present in uh, any of the words stored in the try data structure. So this will take a very less time complexity of a time complexity of the size of the prefix. And this is the main thing that why we use try data structure. See other things like inserting a word, searching for a word can also be done using a map data structure. This can also be done using map data structure or a hash map type of data structure. But that will take greater time complexity to search for a prefix of a given word. But using a try data structure, we can reduce the time complexity up to very less. Okay. And where this start with will help. See, if you uh, take a look in this editorial part, so they have given some of the application of a try data structure. So as you guys can see that here, let's say we are searching something and autocomplete will come automatically. So what is this? This is prefix Google SEA up till here. It was a prefix and based on the prefix, it has suggested some of the words. So here we are doing prefix check. So whenever we have to do something like this prefix check or not, we will the try, try data structure will work the best as I have already told you that it will take less time complexity. Yeah, uh, we will discuss what time complexity this try will take and comparatively what hash map will take for each of the function uh, towards the end of the video. Okay. So similarly, it has other functionalities like spell check, uh, then IP routing, then uh, this predictive text. So yeah, make sure you. Uh, read some of the applications from this editorial part so you will gain more real life understanding of this try data structure okay now let's take a look at the example so here uh, in the input we are given we are first initializing the try data structure then we are given uh, this insert function so we have passed some uh, para, uh, parameters uh, that is the input parameter apple so we are inserting apple over try data structure then we are searching for apple so whenever we are searching or uh, calling this function start with, we have to return something. So for this search, we are searching Apple and since Apple is already inserted, so we return true. Then we will search for app. App as such word is not there, so we return false. Then we are starting for, uh, then we are searching for start with app. That means the prefix app. So this, uh, this a double p is prefix is there. So we return true. See here, Apple we have inserted then a double p is a prefix, but not a word. Okay. Keep that in mind. Then we are inserting uh, again inserting this a double p and this we are searching for a double p now a double p as a word is there so we return true at, at this point when we are searching for a double p it is not that it was only as a part of prefix but afterwards we have inserted it as a word then it is present uh, then it is present so we are returning true so yeah this would be uh, how uh, the test case would be there where we would first initialize the try data structure and there would be multiple calls for this function insert search and start with where we have to return true or false for these two functions okay so yeah, now let's take a look at a, a try data structure and how it will store strings see in a try data structure it is basically a tree type of data structure okay so here in a try data structure what we have at the top we have root element we have root now 
let's say you want to insert this word to the string then how it will make it will create one uh, node of starting with the first letter a then second node with a b letter third node with a c letter fourth node with the d letter and fifth node with the e letter and then we will mark this as end of the word we have to mark where the word is ending okay so there is one reason that why we have to mark this word as an ending so i will also tell you uh, further towards the video see now if you want to insert this this second word a b d then we don't make a new node for a because the node for a is, is already there so we don't make a new node for it the node for b is already there so we don't make a new node for b but after b there is c and here we want d so from b we take one, another node and create d okay got it so this is how the instead of creating a complete separate uh, or, um, some separate child node from this root we take how many nodes are already there so what is this a b is a common prefix between this a b c d e and a b d so we use this common prefix between the word got it and this is the main idea that if whenever we are using common prefix so let's say if we want uh, if we are uh, doing an autocorrect application and we type ab so a b we we, are, we type ab so we get a um, suggestion for both this word abcd and abd so this is how real life application will work since this uh, ab will remain common so we are taking prefix as a common for both the words so we have based on this pref common prefix uh, this try data structure will work so let me give you one more example so here there is there would be void end uh, so let me give you one another example now cab c is not there at the uh, at the top level so we have to insert c then we have to insert a also and b okay now this is inserted now if you are trying to insert the cad c a is already there so from a we will take one, another node and may mark it as t now this are the end of the words similarly for x y z it would be something like this x y z okay uh for p q r it's something like this p q r here there is a end of the word now i will uh, now if you are something like work like word like this p q r s t now p q r is already there and we have to simply insert two another nodes f or s and for t so if you have something like this that uh, pqr is common here and there is also a word name pqr and pqr is also a prefix part for this word now if you want to distinguish between two word if pqr is separate word pqr is a separate word okay then then for that distinguishing we need to keep a track that where this word is ending so that's why we are using one boolean variable to check whether the word will end here or not so that's why i am marking this word it will end here and this word will end here so this complete word pqr will end here and pqrst will end here so thus to mark that whether the word is ending or not uh, we have to keep one boolean uh, boolean uh, variable that is word end or not so we have to take this boolean variable got it now the thing now what what this each node present see the, at each node at each node uh, there is a possibility of 26 uh, characters because uh, we are storing words and there are 26 characters uh, possible 26 different characters possible for a word so for each node we'll have uh, an array of size 26 and each node will have this boolean uh, variable that is is word end okay so yeah for so let's say this is a root node now how many different uh, child present were can be possible from here 26 different child present we can be possible because 26 different characters are there right and for let's say a character is uh, stored now any other word starting with a will already will be like uh, means will use this node as a prefix and will mark some uh, let's say x ax y so may my you will take this a node only and uh, you will add other nodes subsequently correct so for each node there are 26 different another child nodes possible starting from the root let's say for this c node let's say you have uh, c b c c c d so for each node there are 26 different possible uh, nodes so that's why each node will contain an array of size 26 and uh, and and one variable is word end to mark the word is ending or not correct so for let's say now you want to uh, search for the word uh, let's say a b and d you want to search for this word in a try this try so you will check you will check whether a word is there or not yeah a is there you will check b 
now from this a from this a you will check b is there or you will uh, you will get b now from this b you will check that uh, in the children of b do we have d yes d now after d there are no characters so you will also check that d has is a word, end of word or not d is a end of word so in this case you will return true now if you have something like um, this uh, let me take x y z d you have something like this so first you will check whether the child or uh, ch any child of a root has a first character x or not we have the first character x uh, the, now you will check for children of x does the children of x has y yes we have y in the children of x now in the children of y do we have z we have z now in a children of z do we have d no we don't have d in a children of z so that's why here we return false so thus for each node to search we are checking for the children and if you are searching for a word if you are searching for a word like this then the last character must be end of the word if you are searching for a prefix let's say you are searching for a prefix like um, this ca you are searching for prefix right for instance in a prefix the only thing what we won't do see first we will check does the root has a any child character c yeah it has now the child character now the character c has any child character a it has it does have now after this we won't check that does is a is the end of the word we won't simply check because we are simply checking for prefix yeah, and we will stop here and we will return true so yeah i hope you guys understood that that each node of a try contains these two things add of size 26 and is one by add of size 26 because from each node there are 26 different possibilities and that node can be an end of the word so just to show these two things okay now moving on to the coding part coding part is as simple as it is that what we have discussed that uh, we are in taking this try node of size 26 and with a boolean of uh, boolean variable is warrant we are initializing this uh, all the children's to null and is warrant to false now for each no uh, node so let's say we have to insert one word in this uh, try data structure so we first take uh, this try start current that means we initialize the current to the to the current uh, try uh, this is the instant of the try that we are taking here now let's say if a word is present let's say if, a, if let's say we are inserting here a a b c d now let's say a is already present then this uh, we won't go in this if condition because this this won't mean uh, that it's current uh, that would be that means that there would be a children a, a present in the current so yeah this won't be now and we won't go and we directly move to the children uh, where this is present okay and if let's say b is not present so uh, so let's say here this is a root let me draw again let's let's say a e is already there and c is there now you have to insert a b c d so initially a is present a is present so uh, initially our counter our uh, pointer was here now our pointer moves to this that is uh, current was this then we uh, since a is present then we moved from current to children uh, this a whose whose value is a we move to this children now we check does this uh, children of a contains b or not so uh, it is null like uh, all uh, b uh, for all the characters initially it is null right see initially for all the nodes uh, is null now b is not b is null so we have to insert b so what we make we create a new node with a value b and we point this that is current of b is this new node b correct simple as it is so this is how we make a new node now then we point from here to here okay now we check for b does b have c so initially everything is null all 26 characters are null so that's why we insert one new node the value c okay simple as it is yeah uh, then that's then we move the current pointer to this so this is how this loop will work and if we don't found any characters then we make a new node if we found a character we simply move to that and at the end of the word we simply mark is word end to the true so here after this we will move to d and after d there is no other character so we will mark this d of uh, as true is word end as true simple as it is now searching a word is as simple we first take one um, pointer current pointer which we check that if all the words are all the characters of the word are present and if at any point if it is null then we will return false now to search for a word we have all we also have to check whether the last character is the ending point of word that is the last character will be pointed by the current and if is word and equals to true then only we would return true if it is the ending of the word else we would return false and now similar to this search function we have this start with or where we find the prefix the prefix is present or not so yeah this is the same thing we are doing here only this if condition won't be there otherwise everything would remain the same okay 
Now let us compare this same thing with a un, uh, with an unordered map. We will compare uh, this all these three things uh, here once with try and one with unordered map or you can say hash map. We will compare the time complexity for all these functions. So first for the insert function. So for the insert function, the uh, let's say the size of the word is m. Size of the word is m. So this try will take time complexity of big O of m because uh, it will run a loop for m times and also space complexity of big O of m. So let's say you are inserting the word that is completely new for the first time. So in that case, uh, space complexity is big O of m. So the same way, if you want to insert a word in a hash map of type string, string int, something like this. So the time complexity here would be big O of 1 and the space complexity, uh, space complexity would increase like the complete word is stored. Now the, for the second thing, for the search, search for searching the time complexity here is what big O of m for the size of the word and the space complexity would be nothing would be big O of 1. Here also for the search function here the time complexity is big O of 1. You can search a word in big O of 1 time complexity and space complexity is also big O of 1. Now for this prefix searching for a prefix start with. So here the time complexity would be what would be big O of m the size of the prefix m is the size of the prefix and the space complexity would be nothing big o of 1 now the uh, now the real difference arises here so let's say hash map have n keys so size of the hash map is n and the prefix size size is m now if you ha now you have to search for the prefix in this hash map now for that what would be the time complexity so you have to check for each word uh, and m characters for each word so uh, the time complexity would be here n into m Got it. So here the time complexity is very large if you want to search a prefix in a hash map because for let's say there are n words let's say a b c p b c d p q r this all n words are there in this hash map. Now you want to search for prefix let's say uh, prefix x y. So you will check for uh, two let's you will check for prefix for each of the words okay each of the words. So in the worst case time complexity would be n into m yeah and the space complexity would be big of one only but the time complexity would be too large to search for a prefix and due to this reason due to this reason we prefer try data structure in real life application like autocomplete and stuff like that where we have to match the prefix so yeah i hope you guys understood that the main reason that why we are using try data structure and when comparing with a hash map how we are implementing the try data structure how we are implementing different functions inside the try data structure and if you guys have still any doubt then do let me in the comment section Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.